If you're like most people, you're probably using Claude Code like this. However, did you know that Claude Code has a TypeScript SDK? Yes, I said it. You can actually automate your Claude Code workflow using TypeScript. At first, I thought, oh, this is like an API, so then I need to input an API key and everything. But no, if you have Claude Code installed and you're on one of the plan, you can use this for free. And if you have a workflow automation idea, this is for you. So in this video, I'm just going to be going over a few CLI command flags that have been useful to me. And then I'm going to be showing you how to use the Claude Code TypeScript SDK in your own project. And then furthermore, I'm going to show you how I'm using Claude Code SDK as part of Claude Maestro, which is an open AI codex clone, but for Claude Code, let's take a look at some commands. So here, the first one, I am utilizing dash dash print. Again, this will not engage the interactive mode. It's just going to immediately go to work and not come back to me until it has the answer. I am specifying the output format to streaming JSON and Verbo so that we can see all the tool calls as well as how it thinks. For the second flag, I wish I knew this earlier. I actually didn't realize until recently that permission mode has a mode called plan. Yes, you have the plan mode in the interactive Claude code session. However, I didn't know you can specify it directly as a flag. Here I can queue it up. Claude is going to work in the background. It's not going to return to me until it has all the plan. The last command is something that I have been using quite a lot. And it's something I already shown in my previous video, but I just want to remind you that there is the dangerously skip permissions. This is basically Claude Code's YOLO mode. It's really, really great when you're trying to run a prompt in a fully agentic workflow where you just let it do its thing and then just come back when you're done. Now that you know some cool CLI flags, let's take a look at the TypeScript SDK documentation and then we can look at how I'm using the TypeScript SDK in an existing project. I don't know about you, but this Claude Code SDK page is a little confusing to me. It made me think, okay, is this like a separate thing that I need to go into like my Anthropic de developer account and then generate a new API key there and therefore it's going to cost more on top of Claude Code subscription. I didn't want to pay for tokens on top of my $200 a month max plan already. I copied the code here into my bun project, ran it multiple times and then I checked whether it actually ended up on an Anthropic developer account. It didn't. So I was like, wait, is this like free as long as you have Claude Code subscription? Now this is the way to go. Forget that command line stuff that I just showed you. This is the new hype. You can build so many things on top of Claude Code. Yes, you have to have Claude Code subscription, blah, blah, blah. But like building developer tools for Claude Code, I don't know. This is, this is the best thing that could have happened. So glad they exposed this. I wish I knew it earlier. But also, the documentation sucks. Me, maybe I'm just stupid. But this is all the documentation they have. At least it has all the functionalities of Claude Code CLI. Now let's go ahead and create a project from scratch. I'm going to create a bun project and install the Anthropic Claude Code package. Yes, this is the exact same package that has Claude Code in it, which is installed globally on your machine. This package happens to also contain the Claude Code SDK. Unfortunately, this doesn't work in the browser environment, which makes sense because it needs access to Claude Code. For example, if you're creating an Electron project, this will work for you in the main process. Now that we have the SDK installed, I'm just gonna to navigate to the Cloud Code documentation and then copy this portion here. I'm gonna paste this in here and I'm gonna run bun run index. Let's take a look closer into the query. Here, the query is a function which basically queries Cloud Code. And in here, it takes in a prompt, a board controller and options about controller and prompt are pretty self-explanatory but if we go into options in here and further into the options type you can see that it has allowed tools append system prompt this is basically allowing you to add additional system prompt 
if you wanted. You can also override when you specify custom system prompt. I think the most important thing here is the permission mode. And if we go into permission mode, it has default accept edits, bypass permissions. This is the same as the dangerous please skip permissions flag in the CLI. And then we have the plan mode. This is the exact same mode when you engage plan mode in the interactive cloud code session by hitting shift tab. As you can see, this SDK is really, really simple, but it is extremely powerful. And if I take a closer look into the messages that are being streamed by the SDK, this is a union type and you can see there is assistant message. So if we go to into assistant, we can check the type that is assistant, print out the content. So now if I actually just run the index again, and if we go to message.type equals result. In here, I would also need to check that message.subtype will be equal to success. And this way, I will be able to access the result here. Now, if I run the index, you can see the first message should be output from the assistant. And then the second output will be the result, which is exactly what we expected here. Let's now take a look at how I use this in my Claude Maestro application. And if you don't know what Claude Maestro is, I talked about it previously in my last video. Definitely check that video out after you finish this video. I'll have a link down below in the description as well as a link at the end of this video. Basically what the application is, is an OpenAI codex clone, but runs locally and it's for Claude code. So it's using Claude code rather than OpenAI model. Here if I queue up change background of home page to green, I have my Tmux session open. You can see that it sent this option information to the Cloud Code SDK. Now that the plan is completed, I can show you here what Cloud Code has generated. You can see that implement plan change, blah, blah, blah. Going back into the code, and I'm going to go to Cloud SDK Manager. When I click plan in the UI, it runs this execute function, this execute function then calls process query. Process query then is the one that actually talks to the Claude code SDK. Yeah, this is how it's currently set up and how I'm using Claude code SDK in my application. It's pretty seamless and I'm gonna be honest, I didn't use Claude code SDK at first. I actually refactored this in the last few days because I was literally spawning a new child process that runs Claude code in like a shell environment and using that instead of the Claude code SDK. Doing it that way is a lot more painful. Even though I'm pretty sure behind the scenes they're using the Claude code CLI, they are way better than me at wrapping the Claude code CLI with an actual proper TypeScript API. Now that you know how powerful Claude code SDK is, you definitely want to check out this video where I talk about Claude Maestro and how I use it in my day-to-day -day workflow. With that said, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. Make sure to sign up with your email down below in the description if you wanna try out and use Claude Maestro. Anyway, have a great start to your week and I'll see you next Monday. Peace.